back on the scene, Mike Marauder, Strong Point. It's kind of a gloomy day out here, so we can do no live on location today for you. But what you know, I'm back in the mix. Strong Point OA, I told you we're going to keep hitting them with new topics, conversation pieces, stirring up controversy. I've been getting a couple hits, man, a couple comments on, uh, you know, my promos on Army Life and everything. And I want to let everybody know out there, don't take it personal, man. But even though you send me your hate mail, I like it. I like knowing that I'm getting up under people's skin. I don't get me wrong. But, you know, it's nothing personal, just opinions. You feel me? It's just, it's just all opinions. But I want to talk about right now, being that today is a gloomy day, rainy day here down in Georgia, we're going to talk about a gloomy subject. Let's talk about some racism. Ain't it funny how McCain and Palin want to do everything but just call Barack Obama a nigger in front of Tom Brokaw or something? No, they just want to say it like, you just can't let the nigger win. Barack, I wish you luck, man. But I'm going to tell you, from me to you, I'm pretty sure you already know this. You're going to have to watch your back, man. Them crackers are going to be out to get you. They're going to be out to take you down worse than Clinton, worse than any Democrat ever to get in office because you got so many strikes against you already. you young, you're black, you're intelligent. You know, you bring a lot to the table that these white folks can't even deal with, that they can't even fathom dealing with. So I want to go on record one more time. No, I do not vote. No, I'm not registered to vote. But no matter who the president is, it's going to affect me regardless. You know what I'm saying? So I just want everybody to know, go out there and get your vote on. But don't be mad if McCain snatches this motherfucker away, just like Bush did. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't be surprised. I want to, you know, talk about the racism thing for a minute. You know, I'm mixed with black and white. So I've seen ignorance on both sides. But it's just sad, though, how, like, a black man runs for president and it seems like the only things they can come in, come up with right now is to say, oh, Barack Obama is a Muslim. You know, he's a Muslim. He's a Muslim. Now you want to throw religion in it and all this negative shit. All that stuff don't matter, man. It's about can the man do the job. You know, maybe he can, maybe he can't, you know. Black folks don't get it twisted either, man. Just because he black don't mean he right. You know, I'm, I'm looking at both of it. I'm a Libra. So I look at good and bad at every situation. You know, it'll be cool and historic to have a black man in office. But like I said before, what is he really going to do? You know, Bush fucked up everything over these past eight years. It's going to take 16 years to break even. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if we, for y'all that don't know, I want to get a little bit of information out here. Congress approved a $700 billion bailout. All right. Barack Obama said this himself, not at at the second debate. He said, folks is already out fucking off that money. Folks is already out going on business trips, you know, catering all this, you know, shrimp and caviar just to talk about how to fix the country. I let you know, man, these white folks don't give a fuck about us, man. All they want to do is take our money and put us in jail. You know, so Barack, you got a lot of pressure on you because every black male, woman, child in America are, is looking for you to put on that cape and swing down and save us. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't, you know. But I just want to be, you know, let everybody know what's going on out there, what's on the mind of these young black men, especially myself. You know what I'm saying? Strong point. Mike Marauder. YouTube.com slash Mike Marauder. M-I-C-M-A-R-A-U-D-E-R. I want to send a shout out though. I got a hit, a comment from a drill sergeant. Okay? Listen, man, I'm going to say this to you so we ain't even got to keep typing back and forth. The Army won for me. But I want you to know something. In my opinion, a person who gives their life to the military, you're doing it for only for maybe two reasons. Maybe three reasons. I'm just going to focus on two. One, you couldn't take it out here in these streets, you couldn't take it in civilian life. So you chose to be a follower. You chose to put on a uniform and be told what to do, when to eat, when to come back, when to use the bathroom. You know, don't, you know, hey, hey, drill, check that I'm talking to you. Don't act like I don't know what I'm talking about, okay? I've been there, three years, reserve, active duty. And you know, it don't matter if Fort Benning was my first duty station or not. The Army fucking sucks. Okay, and the way the way it just is now, man, look at what's going on. You talking about people want to stick up for the military because, like I said, y'all followers, man, y'all don't know what to do if the, if your first sergeant or your commander came at you and said, you got to go. I bet you panic, you know. Oh, man, I got you mean tell me I got to go back to regular life, quote unquote, you know, you'll freak out, man. All right. But for people like myself who. 
okay, let's say couldn't cut it. Let's 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 do it like that. Let's say couldn't cut it. I'm just gonna say I stood up for my own principles on my own two feet and with my own mouth. So everybody from sergeant majors to colonels, majors, first sergeants, commanders, platoon leaders, squad leaders, everything. Get me the fuck out of here and I will get out of here. And what make it so killing about it is to walk away scot-free. I know people are like, damn, how did you get out the military though? I told somebody the other day, you gotta be willing to put yourself on the line if you want out. Okay, it's like getting out of jail now. They'll look you right in your face and say, well, this is a volunteer army. Well, if you volunteer for something, shouldn't you be able to unvolunteer for it? I believe. Just because I raised my hand and took that oath, I don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? Presidents take oaths too, and they fuck over countries. So, you know, what does that leave me? I got the freedom of choice just like everybody else. I want to do it. It didn't work. Let me out. Call me a quitter. Call me whatever you want, but you can call me alive. You can call me free, and you can call me getting money. Okay, just because nobody ain't in the military don't mean they ain't going to make no money and they ain't got no future. So everybody out there to support me, thank you. I love y'all. Keep clicking on me. Keep checking me out. Everybody that don't like me, I love y'all. Keep clicking on me. Keep checking me out. Mike Marauder, Strong Point, 08, out.